what's happening welcome into another lesson today we are looking at blue devils 2017 snare break man this is a difficult one so we're going to break this one down little by little i'll start at the very beginning i'll show you the way that i've learned it we'll see if we can get, get it so that you can get it down um the original um finals note you can hear the metronome is going about 170 but they switch it off as soon as the snare break starts and it does kind of drift a little bit um but we're going to try it real slow well I say real slow, it's still fast. But we're going to be running it when I'm teaching you now about 1.30. I might slow it down, I might speed it up. When you're trying to get the, the whole break, I'd pitch around about 160, right? It starts off 170, but it quite quickly drops off of that um, considerably, right? So if we have a go at the very beginning, then all we've got to start off with is we've got a part that just goes. Well, the key to that is just understand the timing, so it's just triplet. And we just go right, left, left, left. Da, 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 da. Right, left, left. Now there we go, so we go, and there's a five there, and then a seven. Now to get the timing of that, the easiest way that I found to do this, when I learned it like this, way, this way, was to play it at 16th notes, which most of us can do quite easily, and then take the 16th notes out, replace it with the five and the seven. So here's the pattern, so three, four, one, uh, 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 and a two, and three, and a four. So that's fairly easy, yeah? But, 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 little, 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 little. So the last four, replace the seven. Seven. So if you get, oh, that's a bad one. Never done sevens before, you have to sit and practice these a lot. I use, heard it on the radio stop. 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 Sit and practice those. Heard it on the radio stop. Heard it on the radio stop. Right, so we get bat, 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 back, 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 hold it on the radio stop. A little bit faster than that though, isn't it? Now that other part, where we've got that, there's actually a five in there with a the release, which means it's six notes. So instead of going bat, 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 digga, digga, bat, which is easy to feel because on the up, we've got a squash five in there. So we get. So again, I practice bat to bat, do one, then the other. Sixteenths first. And the seven starts on a downbeat, so we get. So it's a bit faster. Bad one. That's that bar done, alright? Next bar we get. So left, flam, flam, tap right. In triplet. Into a five. So opportunity. Opportunity stop. Opportunity stop. And I roll it. Opportunity stop. So then we're into our quintuplet section, right? The next section, again, I just learned the phrase for the, the first even. So we get one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, stop. Eighth notes like this. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, stop, and then then the actual pattern, which is fives. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, stop. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, stop. It's not too bad that part there. So one little back stick. Hair to, and then a flam tap. Don't worry about lifting for the flam tap. It's like it's almost like a drop in. Then and then another one. So that's the whole part. To get my time in. I just use that again. Opportunity. It's a bit hard to say that one because you've got like a, one of those in the middle. But opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. I can't even say it. And play it. Oh. I just leave that around, all right? So if I go from the start to there, see if I can do it at this tempo. Next bit, we're into triplets, right? So it's gonna feel like it's gonna accelerate here because we're now going. So I'll play four counts of this five 
count phrase. One, two, three, four, stop with the rim shot. And then with the flam. Right, then we've got a five on the end again. One, two, three, four, five, stop. Flam, two, three, four, five, flam. Flam, two, three, four, five, flam. We roll that. But we don't play that last note. Tap, flam. So we get. Okay, so that whole five section from the we get again. So we suddenly get like acceleration and deceleration. We get on that final five there. Right, this final section then. Man, this is difficult. Right, so we start off with an easy part, right? The first three counts of it are easy, right? We get a Swiss kick off the left. Then we get essentially two counts of triplet roll. One, two, three, four, right? Like this. We replace the second count of the roll with a paradiddle diddle. So we get. So that's not too bad, but it's hard because you're coming out of that five leading into it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's like a sudden acceleration. Now, the last section, you need to understand the concept of four over three. So four over three means that one rhythm is doing, say, fours, the other one's doing threes. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now you would have played this before even if you don't understand this. Often with 16th notes, as in the beat would be doing this. And we'd be playing one E under two, E under three, E under four. One E under two, E under three, E under four. So you make sure you can do that. This is slow, bearing in mind. So that's, the, that's what we're going to play. We're going to lead into that with four 16th notes like this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then we're going to start to roll in. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we end up getting these tap rolls. Two, three, four. Now this is where it gets crazy, right? So at the end, where we would go in in 16th note format, instead of where three notes are fitting, we squash four by playing two paradiddles. So we get, which is gonna feel a different tempo, because it's a different, um, same tempo, but a different um, amount of notes were squashed into the space. So we get, and let's try this. Two, three, four. Right now, if you've just got that and you're thinking, awesome, I've done the whole thing, this is where they kind of screw you over because that last part is insane, right? Disclaimer here, I can't play this, certainly not well. What we get is we get a paradiddle. Well, I was getting you to play left-handed paradiddle. Instead, it's actually fours, four left hands with a right hand release. So we get paradiddle, left, 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 left rim. Now I can't squeeze it out very well at all. Maybe on a real tight snare drum at the end of the edge of this, maybe. I'd be able to squeeze it out, but on a pad I struggle with that, even on this side.
Right, now this is actually harder to do at this tempo, 130, than it is when we get to the proper tempo, because at the proper tempo, at the proper tempo, you can kind of press in. At slow tempo, you just gotta kind of place it. So that bit there would go, but instead of the paradiddle, you get those four less, right? How do you do four lefts? You better ask one of the guys in that line, right? All I can do is just kind of press into the head and try and my best to control them, right? As I said, it's a lot easier on a drum that's got a bit of tension. This isn't completely tension because it's got a top snare on here, but if I play at the edge, that's what I'd sit and do. I'd practice doing two paradiddles and then one with the lefts. Hard man. Okay, and that's the whole break. So, as you, can see. as you can see, the most difficult parts in it is understanding the timing of it. So I go through it once slowly, 130. Make sure that you guys understand what's going on, all right? So this first part was. That's the first part. At that point, I go into my five section. And I play my three section as well, right? Then we're into this crazy ending. And it ends on a count four, depending on where you count it from, right? Uh, the ending again. <laughs> Two, three, four. Sticks up and back down. So hopefully that's enough information there for you to have a go at playing it. As I said, the ending is insanely hard. Um, if you get the tempo just right and you work on that left hand, they can do it, you can do it. Um, I'll play it once for you now, a little bit faster. Maybe 160 with a metronome. Um, let's try it and see. Okay, if you got something from this lesson, please share it, please like it. Um, I've got lots of other lessons like this, so if you're on YouTube, maybe think about subscribing, hit that little no notification button, leave me some comments if there's other snare breaks you'd like me to break down, I'll do my best. Let's try and choose some which haven't got four with one hand in though, okay? I'll see you all again next time, thanks for watching.